Hi everybody. Today is Tuesday. Yeah, it's 8-8. Eight, eight. And it's been a busy day for me, but I wanted to hop on and show you what I created today and it's not on canvas. Today I was working in my art journal and it's actually my journal. I write in it and I also create like this is my creative so this is what it looks like I think I got it did I get it at Hobby Lobby I don't know one of those places it's a mixed media um, tablet and I have like collages I have a whole bunch of stuff in here um, some writing but I um, if you're in my group then I'm sure you've already watched the video that I did this morning um, where I created a symbol um, from yesterday or from this week's power thought and the video is like it shows me actually doing the whole process so if you'd like to watch that it's like I don't know maybe a five to seven minute video and you're not in the group yet then um, I'll put the link below I'd love to have you in there tomorrow um, I'm going to go live in the group and um, show everyone how to use a really cool technique that helps to clear out those limiting beliefs that I'm going to share with you here. Um, anyway, so I wanted to like, you know, you have the power thought is I am deeply fulfilled by all that I do. And then there's an extended message on the back. Each moment of the day is special to me. As I follow my higher instincts and listen to my heart, I am at peace with my world and affairs. So rather than try and memorize this or, you know, the old, you can write it down on a whole bunch of post-it notes or, you know, take picture of it and keep it on your phone and look at it throughout the day. And, you know, you can say it to yourself. Um, and, you know, that's a good way to, you know, really just like get it in to your, you know, into your mind, into your, you know, your whole being, so to speak. And that's okay, you know, but there's a much like a much more magical way of doing that. And um, I'm going to show you what I did, what I do with that. I don't do it every week, um, but any type of creative project that I do, uh, whether it's in the canvas or in my journal, I have an intention that I set. Um, there's a certain energy or something that I want to experience more of in my life and the power thoughts of course like this totally resonates um, I mean who doesn't want to be deeply fulfilled by all that they do in their day and in their world like to be at peace with what's going on in your personal world and with your affairs and um, to be able to like follow your intuition and to live from your heart rather than from your mind, your left brain or your subconscious, which is that very thing that keeps you um, stuck in patterns and stuck repeating the same cycles over and over and over. And that's also the place that oftentimes we can believe that Oh, we've gotten confirmation right to what we are thinking um, and that can be it can feel like a very clear place and a safe thing because that's what your subconscious wants to do your left it just wants to keep you safe that's all and there's nothing wrong with that but it can keep you from getting out of your comfort zone and into that great new thing or closing out those old chapters of life and um, letting go of those patterns and actually stepping outside of that which can be scary and a lot of times if we feel fear we think that we're making a mistake and when we decide to stop doing that 
in exchange for that peace, then we think that we dodged a bullet or that we, um, we shouldn't go that way because once I said no, then I experienced peace and I have peace about it, then that must mean that I am in the right place. Well, a lot of times that's just your subconscious trying to keep you safe and keeping you there. And I'm not saying always, but a good part of the time, I mean, obviously like fear is a real thing. You're not going to go like have an idea like, Hey, I want to go wrestle with a bear and you know, fight your, that's not smart, but we're, you know, I think we kind of know the difference, right? Um, anyway, so I don't want to have to sit around and memorize this. I want to get this like into my energy system, into me. I want to experience this. I want this to be a truth in my life, this whole thing. And so what I did is so that I have a visual, a symbol, because symbols are there, you know? What is it? Um, a picture holds a thousand words. So creating a symbol that, and I didn't say like, oh, I want to create this particular thing when I sat down to do it. This is just what appeared. And I started with writing, you know, the power thought and the extended message here. And then I just intuitively just went through and I listened to what came up. The resistance that came up, the inner critic that came up, the voice that was telling me like, that's not right. Or, you know, all of those things that would try and justify this from not being true. And the technique I'm going to share tomorrow in the group is a way of clearing out those limiting beliefs because that's what they are those old mindsets that no longer serve me and um, maybe they were good for me in the past but they're just not doing me any favors anymore and it's time to let them completely go so a lot of times what i'll do is i'll use that technique i listen i don't shut it away but if i'm busy like saying this out loud and trying to memorize it then I'm not able to listen to my subconscious. I'm not able to listen to those uh, roadblocks or those limiting beliefs or those outdated mindsets to come through so that I can actually um, let them go and clear them out, right? Um, so I, that's part of the process. And this is, I just used some oil pastels and it took me 10 minutes and there were some things that I found I wasn't happy with, but again, you know, okay, I'm going to make a note and I'm going to work through that. Or I just stop and, you know, work through that during the process. Today I did not because I was filming and the video is not super great. Um, but now I have this. So now I can either set this up, I can tear it out, I can put it on my wall, but you know what? I thought about this symbol all day today and i was reminded of things that are keeping me from being at peace in my world and at peace with my affairs and some things that i need to let go of to make this happen and this actually did like my day was great i had some you know Things that could have been bumps or um, cause some negative energy to come up. But I remembered this symbol that came out of me and I was at peace. And today was a very fulfilling day. And this is just day one. So I would love to know if you have created any symbols um, from any power thoughts, let me know, um, or you can post a picture of that below. Let me know if any of this resonates. If you would like to learn how to do this um, and you're not in the group, um, join me. It's fun. And tomorrow we're going to learn that technique. So I love you guys. Thanks for watching. 
and I will see you tomorrow.